Now we're going to show you how to prepare and mix emulsion for your hobby screen printing purposes. This is a pint of emulsion. It's a dual cure emulsion. You notice we're in a yellow room. This yellow light is a light safe light. This emulsion actually is light sensitive because it exposes to UV light. So the reason we're in a light safe room is once we mix this, the emulsion becomes light sensitive. A light safe room is very easy to create. All we're using are light safe yellow bulbs. These are cheap little yellow bulbs available on our website, soapscreensupplies.com, that you can plug into a desk lamp or an overhead um, incandescent bulb plug and easily light safe a bathroom, uh, a laundry room, a bedroom even. So you can turn any room into a light safe room. It's not super hard. If your room has windows in it, you, know, you can do it in the dark or in the, at night. You can also put shades over the windows. So being in a light safe room is very easy. Once your screen's been exposed, you don't need to be in a light safe room anymore. And once you've capped your emulsion with the lid on it, you don't need to be in a light safe room anymore. Once again, light safe yellow bulb, very simple to use and very easy to way to create a light safe yellow um, environment. Now, this emulsion comes with a diazo. This diazo is a powder and this activates the emulsion. It says mix it one half full with distilled water. So we're using filtered distilled water here and then we're putting one half of the container full of the water. Once our container is full, we'll simply shake it up and then we'll mix up the emulsion. Once this is mixed up, the emulsion will last for about 6 to 12 weeks, probably in the 6 to 8 week, week range. Um, if you keep it in a cool area, it may last a little bit longer for you. It cannot freeze. If it freezes, then it will go bad. So keep it in a cooler area and definitely close the lid. Once this is mixed up here, we're going to simply dump this into our container and take a little mixing stick right here and stir it up. Now when you stir it up, you want to stir it thoroughly. If you do not stir it thoroughly, then um, the diazo won't be mixed all the way into the emulsion and it won't be activated. It takes a couple minutes to stir up and you don't want to stir it too vigorously, otherwise the emulsion will spill over the edge. You can see it conform in color and consistency as the diazo is mixed into the emulsion. This emulsion is purplish in color, dark purplish in color, but since we're in the light safe yellow room, it actually um, you know, doesn't really look like a color right now, it kind of looks brown. So as you can see right here, we're almost mixed up. Now, also keep in mind that sometimes there's some emulsion on the top of your lid and you want to scrape this emulsion into the container as well during the mixing process so that this emulsion doesn't drip into your container. If it does, you're mixing unsensitized emulsion with sensitized emulsion, so we're just going to take this and mix it in. Now, as you can see, once this is mixed up, we have some air bubbles coming to the surface. You're going to want to let these air bubbles evaporate out of the emulsion for you know an hour or two in, before you use it. So we're just going to clean off our mixing stick and then just cap the emulsion but leave it slightly open to allow the air bubbles to evaporate out of it. Once it's been sitting for an hour, we can go ahead and use it. I'll correct, also recommend dating your emulsion so you know when you mixed it and six to eight weeks down the road you know it could start going bad. If you're having problems exposing your screens that might be a telltale sign is if you're a multi-tool.